The best part of my job is that I get to work with brilliant, beautiful people who are passionate about their work, people who want to make an impact with their work, people who work in order to make an impact on the world. That's true, that's true of my life. I'm a very lucky person. But I'd like to make the argument that we're all actually in that position. So my favorite part of uh, IIX behavior has been the morning session so far, specifically the one with Aaron Reed. And the reason was it's just bringing to life so much of what's going on, what, what is transforming in how we're understanding human behavior and consumer behavior and how that's enabling us to, to really bring a new level of empathy. So I want to illustrate this for you. Um, when we talk about facial coding of emotion and just how exact it is, I heard um, in the literature, uh, read in the literature, um, that facial coding of emotion is an inexact measure of emotion. That might be the easiest scientific statement to make, period. <laughs> Every measure of something else is an inexact measure of that something else, <laughs> right? Um, so just how inexact is it? Well, we did this study over three years, 200 ads, 14,000 consumers, and we had behavioral data on how much these ads were watched online. So we collected some cognitive data, we collected some emotional data, public emotional data on facial coding, and then we started to run some models. Here's what we found. When we're trying to predict the behavior of online views of the ads, facial coding of emotion accounted for 47% of the number of online views of an ad. That's really inexact. Anybody? test that sarcasm? <laughs> That's really inexact. <laughs> you want to know what's really inexact? The methods that the industry uses to measure effectiveness of advertising. This is how much a conscious evaluation of an ad accounts for the number of views online. So yeah, facial coding of emotion is inexact, but it's about four times as exact as conscious evaluation of an ad. And then here's the key, when you add in implicit associations to give you the context behind the emotion that people are feeling, you're able to explain up to 65% of the number of views of an online ad. Combining, you know, traditional with some of the leading edge uh, research that's being done today, he's, he's, you know, really on the cutting edge, and, and that's kind of one of the reasons why I like to come here, to, to get those insights. I thought this stuff wasn't valid facial coding of motion. The people who didn't like the ad expressed no happiness at all. The people who feel more positive about the brand afterward expressed more happiness. And in this case, they actually expressed more disgust. Soaking in a lot of different ideas, uh, it's going to really help you diversify the thoughts that you have, your you know, method of working. And I feel like you just become a more well-informed researcher because of conferences like this.